In this video, we're going to look at how to use the new Lens BigQuery API to query data uh, in bulk. If you go to the documentation, we now have this new section that is at docs.lens.xyz, and it's at docs slash public BigQuery. And this is a data set that's built using BigQuery that allows you to really query all of the information that has been published to Lens. And it does so pretty quickly. And what you can do with this is you can do all types of stuff. You can do uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Um, you can do data analytics. You can build dashboards. You can draw all types of conclusions from this information. And it's really, really powerful. And a lot of people have kind of had to, in the past, build out a lot of sophisticated infrastructure and kind of do this on their own. But now with the BigQuery API, they can just do it themselves and it's all kind of set up and ready to go. What I wanna show in this video is really just how to actually query using BigQuery and also how to build kind of like a, a local application where you can pull this data down and kind of write it to your file system locally. And then that way you can work with it using Python or JavaScript or whatever uh, you would like locally. And we'll also kind of play around with it in the dashboard. With that being said, you uh, need to have a, a Google account for a Google developers account. So you can go to console.cloud.google.com and sign up if you don't already have one. And you also need to just have maybe like Node.js installed locally on your machine uh, to kind of build out the local version of this. With that being said, we'll go ahead and start doing this. So I can go here to select a project. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new project. I'm gonna call this Lens BigQuery Example. And I'll go ahead and click Create. And then after this project is created, I'm gonna drop it down here at the, from the menu and click on it. And now we are ready to go. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on like APIs and services. And what we actually need to do now is create a credential. So I can go over here, click on credentials, and I'm going to go to service accounts and I'm gonna click on create uh, service account. And then here we're going to go ahead and click create service account. I will call this lens API access or something like that. And here for the role, I'm gonna to go to basic and I'm gonna select owner and then I'm gonna add another role that is gonna be BigQuery admin. And click continue and of course you can make this more fine grain uh, for just reading or for only performing certain actions. And I'm gonna go ahead and click done. And now that we have this created, we can go ahead and go to actions. And what we wanna do is manage keys. We're gonna click add key, create a new key. And we wanna do JSON. And once this is created, it's gonna go ahead and download this locally. And this is gonna be what we need to access the BigQuery API from our local project. Now that we have that set up, I'm going to just look for BigQuery here, and we're gonna go ahead and try to interact with it directly from the BigQuery dashboard. Now, if I go to the Lens docs, you'll see that we have a couple of queries already kind of like set up for you. So for instance, this one says select all from Lens public data dot sandbox dot public profile. Now this dot public profile is just one of the many data sets that are available to you. And one way to kind of see all the available data sets is to run this query here, where we call select table name from lens public data polygon information schema dot tables. So I can just copy that and I'll paste it here and we'll go ahead and click run. And you'll see that we have all of these different table names that come back. So we might wanna try one of these out just out of curiosity. So we have like pro public profile stats. I might just say we want to try that one. And I'll say select all and I'll say limits 10 or something like that. And here we're kind of like getting some results back. One example that we might want to use is selecting from those profile stats. But 
we might want to say something like we want to order by total posts and we want to do that in a descending order and then we might want to say something like limit uh, 10. So if I run this query, you'll see that we get these results back and um, you're kind of like seeing the total public total uh, sorted by total posts. You might want to sort by total collects or something like that instead. So we'll just go ahead and update that. And you kind of see that we have now ordered by total collects. You might want to kind of look at the information on one of these profiles. So here we have like profile ID 0x02 and I'm going to go to the Lens API. I'm going to pass in the profile ID, get the handle, and you see that that is from Ave. And of course, if we go to Linster, we can view that profile here. Or you can, of course, call the API to kind of view the, the profile information about that profile. So there's really all types of stuff that you can do, especially going back to this original query that we ran where you have, um, actually, that's not the, the original query. Let's go back and pull that, um, that one again. where you see that we have uh, 50 different tables that you can read from. So I encourage you to kind of go through our docs. We have a lot of these different ones documented here, what you can do with them, so on and so forth. And uh, from like there, you might consider building some type of application, you know, or some type of analytics tool or something like that locally. So we wanna pull this down into a local project and learn how to do that. So that's kind of gonna be the next step. So what I'm gonna do is open my terminal. Here, I'll go ahead and create a new directory called BigQuery Lens. We'll change into that directory and we'll just say npm init dash dash y. And this will go ahead and initialize a new package.json for us so we can start installing some dependencies and things like that. And the one quick update we want to make in our package.json is going to be to set the type as module because we want to use ES modules so we can do basic stuff like imports and things like that. Now, the only dependency that we're going to need to install is going to be the BigQuery Node.js package. So I'm going to say yarn add or you can do npm install at Google dash cloud slash BigQuery. And once we have that installed, then we're ready to kind of like start importing it and stuff like that. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to take that key file that we had earlier downloaded from BigQuery and we're gonna go ahead and paste the contents of that here. So I'm gonna say keyfile.json and I'm gonna go ahead and open up that file and paste the contents here. So we've brought that key file down. We now have it uh, available in our app and we can start making API calls to BigQuery by referencing this key file. So now that we have all that stuff set up, I think there's a couple of queries we might want to start off with. One of those might just be the basic query that we ran earlier that retrieves all of the different tables. And using that query, we might go ahead and fetch all the information, but also write it to disk locally. So I'm going to go ahead and create a folder, I'm sorry, a file called fetchtables.js. And we're going to start by importing a few things here at the top. We're going to import BigQuery from the Node.js BigQuery SDK. We're going to import FS, the file system API from the file system. Um, and then we're also going to go ahead and import that key file name um, ver uh, reference to the key file.json. And then we'll create a function called send query that we can just invoke here. And what we're going to need to do is create a client using the BigQuery constructor, saying new BigQuery passing in the key file name. Um, we're gonna go ahead and define the query that we wanna work with. So in this case, we're gonna say select table underscore name 
from Lens Public Data Polygon Information uh, Schema Tables. We're going to also set this options uh, variable where we set the location as the US, which is important to do, or else this won't work. And also the query that we defined earlier. And then we're going to call client.query, passing in the options. And this is just going to return an array. We're going to take the first item out of that array, and we will go ahead and log that out. And then we're going to write this locally to a new file by calling fs.writefilesync. And we're going to pass in the lens tables.json uh, as the file path to write. And then we're going to stringify the rows that came back from BigQuery. So in about 20 or so lines of code, we were able to go ahead and use BigQuery locally. So what I can do now is go to my terminal and I can go ahead and uh, run fetch tables.js. And you see that the tables have been listed there. And if I go to lens tables.json and I go ahead and format this, you'll see that we have the actual data that came back now available to us locally for us to analyze or do whatever we'd like to with. So now that we have the lens tables locally, let's go ahead and run a couple of new queries. One thing we might want to do is get the profile stats like we did earlier. So I'm going to create a new file called get profile stats.js. And like before, we're going to import BigQuery. We're going to import the file system. We're going to have a function called sinQuery, which we're going to invoke. All this stuff is basically going to be the same. The only difference really is going to be the actual uh, query that we're sending and the place that we're writing this locally. So here we're calling select all from the lens public data dot polygon dot public profile stats. And then here we're passing in some profile ID. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and grab whatever profile ID I guess that you'd like. From here, this is my profile ID. So yeah, I'm gonna just gonna pull the stats for myself just out of curiosity. And then what we can do below that, now that we have the query defined here, I'm going to you know, create that same options variable. And here, instead of writing to the other file name, we're going to write to profile stats.json. So now I can go ahead call get profile stats.js. And here we see that I've had 315 total posts, 461 comments, 758 mirrors. I've had my publications collected 14,000 times. So we have all of that information here, which is, which is pretty cool. What we might want to try out next is maybe getting the actual posts from a specific uh, profile. And what I want to do is just go ahead and pull all of my publications that I've ever done. So that's you know, a much larger data set than you can do from the Lens API. So here I'm gonna go ahead and call, or create a file called git profile posts.js. You know, same as before, we're gonna go ahead and import the same imports, create a file, I mean create a function and call it uh, send query and then invoke it here. The only difference here is our actual query. So here we're calling select star from the profile, public profile post table, where the profile ID is equal to my profile ID, and then we're gonna order by date. And then we're going to set the options, and we're gonna write that to disk. And we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and run node get profile posts. And there we go. We have um, 
you know, quite a few items, I guess. So if I go to profile post.json, go ahead and try to format that. And I go to the very top. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this post ID. I'm not sure if I need the whole thing. I forgot. Let me go down to Linster. Okay, yeah. So I need to go ahead and try that. Yes, and this is my most recent post um, where I record a video showing how to connect a wallet using React Native. And I guess, interestingly enough, if I go to the very end, I can see my very first post ever. So I'll go ahead and copy that post ID. And this is my first post I've ever created on Lens. And I said, I'm excited about Lens because as a developer, it encompasses my favorite characteristics of Web3, composability. With protocols like Lens, developers can not only share code, but data and infrastructure unlocking profound and powerful use cases that we've only begun to explore. This is the next paradigm of open source. So that's how I felt then. That's definitely still how I feel now. And um, yeah, that wraps up this video. So I'm hoping that you learned a lot about BigQuery, about how to use the Lens BigQuery data sets. And I hope to see a lot of experimentation. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to drop them in the comments and keep an eye out for more future videos.